Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is going to be a little bit different. Um, I wanted to explore the way that the pieces of equipment you have, how those things affect the videos you make. And so, um, I, I don't know if most of you know, but I shoot most of my videos on this camera here that you're looking right now. It's a Canon EOS R. And uh, I have two main lenses that I switch out when I shoot videos. I have the 16 to 35 f2.8 RF lens, and then uh, recently I got the 70 to 200 RF. And uh, these are pretty much my everyday carry lenses. I bring them with me everywhere when I shoot videos. These are usually the only two that I take. I do have two other lenses, um, but I don't use them nearly as often. And so what I wanted to do today is uh, compare the types of videos I normally make with how a new piece of equipment and uh, this could potentially be a really bad piece of equipment, how it would affect the types of videos that I would make. And so I went to Amazon and I bought like one of the cheapest cameras I could possibly find. I bought a camera that could do probably mostly what I wanted it to do um, and be the cheapest possible. And so I spent about $90 on this camera. And uh, so coming from this, it's about, a, I guess, less than 10th of the price of what I normally shoot on. And uh, it doesn't even have a brand name or anything. It's just called the Ultra HD 2.7K. That's it. it. Does have a little, looks like it has a flip out screen. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, on the box, it does 2.7K, um, which I don't really, I don't really care about resolution very much. Um, I shoot most of my videos in 1080, so resolution um, is like going up to 4K is pretty irrelevant to me. It has a three inch touch panel, so touch screen, that's pretty nice. Um, pause recording. I don't know why you would want to pause a recording instead of just stopping it. 36 megapixels, so good. I think that's actually higher than the EOS R. 16 times digital zoom. Um, so obviously we're not gonna be switching lenses here. LED digital light, so it comes with a light. So we will see how that works. And it has anti-shake, so it has some form of stabilization built into it. So the question is, is could you spend $90 and uh, become a vlogger? Let's open this guy up. All right, we have a HDMI cable. Oh, it looks like it comes with a microphone. Look at this little stereo microphone guy. It says to record every wonderful moment. So exciting. User's manual, it comes with Whatever this is. Oh, it's like a, maybe a top handle so you can mount mount the camera there and have a handle to carry it more stable. I'm actually impressed with how much stuff came in here. Little remote control, because who doesn't need a remote for their camera? The dinkiest little headphone cable that I've ever seen. Look at the size of this battery. It's tiny. Charging cables. It looks like here we got microphone. I guess it has a built-in battery. Yeah, so you have to, it's a powered microphone. So maybe it sounds okay. It has plus 20, zero, and minus 10 decibels. It has some sort of sliders on top. I don't really know what they do. Oh, they even give you, they give you two batteries. Do I have a way of charging the battery that's not in the camera? A bunch of like hood pieces, I guess. All right, it's in a little case. Ooh, it's got the hand strap. I'm official. This is it. This is the, the whole camera. Flips forward, so you can have a forward facing screen. That's not bad. There's the battery hole. All the ports are on the back. Hot shoe mount. For a hundred bucks, I kind of expected it to feel a little more, uh, well, it is pretty plasticky. But it's not too bad. I'll just try to vlog with this today. So let's get a battery in here. Now are these batteries charged? And there it is, whoa. All right, let's see. So it does some tap to focus. It's telling me I have no SD card, auto white balance. Got some zoomage, interesting. There's a mode button. You hear those sound effects? It's 
that might be worth it right there. This thing is ridiculous. Let's see, how wide is this? It's not too bad. It turns off when you close it. And then turns back on when you open it. So that's something. Since I got all this gear, I might as well get it all set up how they would suggest using it. I wish I could take this strap off. It is literally the worst thing ever, but it doesn't look like it comes off. So first I'm gonna attach this bad boy. It's like screwed all the way in, but still slides. So not sure what that's about. It's like the tripod mount hole is just not deep enough. So this whole handle is pointless. So we're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna get the, this microphone set up though. I think I need to use this to get the mic. Okay, these little flops are just the most frustrating. Thing. Look how ridiculous that looks. I do like that it's mounted pretty far forward, so at least it has the chance of sounding halfway decent. I'm gonna throw an SD card in here. I don't see those two red lights on top. Can you see that? When I press it, they turn on and off, and I don't know why. Oh, it can shoot an in infrared. My USR doesn't do that, so hell yeah. Get an SD card in here, and uh, the rest of this video will be shot on the, the, the Better Life, maybe that's what it's called, the Better Life Ultra HD 2.7K. Now the mic is hopefully on, shooting on the camera, and uh, you know, this is like the best lighting conditions ever. I'm standing like right next to a window, soft light on my face. How does it look? I think we're shooting at 1080. I don't, I'm not really, I don't really remember. Really interested to know how this mic is working because uh, I, there's no indication on the screen of what the mic is doing. So hopefully it sounds okay and is not. So I just realized on the last video I had the mic at negative 10 decibels so now it's at zero so hopefully this sounds better but uh, again I have no way of knowing because there is no meters or anything on the screen. Um, I will say on this little screen this doesn't look half bad it looks uh, a little soft but for video soft is not necessarily terrible so uh, yeah let's just keep shooting. disconcerting that I still don't know if this mic is working at all so all this video might be for nothing Kelsey's here how's it look it looks fine yeah it looks like an action camera kind of yeah Catherine is making drinks and sending texts One of the things I'm figuring out with this is that um, the sensor must be super, super baby tiny because in uh, low light situations, it is pretty rough to see uh, everything. Even in the, I like, I haven't taken anything off of this, but even in the um, screen here, it just gets mushy and blurry and uh, pixelated. So we're gonna go outside. I don't know where yet, um, but we're gonna go somewhere outside and see uh, what the video quality looks like outside. vlogged for a day on this. I still don't know what to call it. The handle just says digital video camera. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. The simple answer is just use your phone. Uh, I've only reviewed a little bit of the footage 
and uh, I haven't actually finished editing this video yet. This is like, uh, I, I would compare it to old, older like GoPro Hero 3 footage, but in a way, way bigger package. And your phone today, if you've had a phone that you bought in the last three years, um, it probably shoots better looking video than this. Um, there's some convenience features with these, and uh, if you, you know, if you don't own a phone or you uh, don't want to invest the money in buying a nicer phone so you can do video, um, then I guess I can see the point of this. But honestly, a phone, um, an older action camera, any of those things would shoot um, pretty close to the same quality as this in a much smaller package. And again. You know, a $1,000 phone or a $100 camera. A $200 action camera or a $100 camera. There's a there's an argument to be made for something like this. Um, just not an argument uh, for me to have something like this, I would say. Um, or for the, I guess, the majority of people. Um, it's not inherently a bad product. There are some cool things, um, like like ease of use things, like the it's off right now and as soon as you open the screen, it turns on, but as soon as you turn it on and then you close it and it turns back off, yeah, there's lots, there's just, it's fairly easy to use. The menus are kind of confusing because they're just icons and stuff, but overall, um, if you want to start vlogging, if you want to start sharing those things on YouTube, on the internet, just use your phone. It's such a great tool that is already with you, that you already carry, carry with you every day. Honestly, the worst part about having a camera is carrying it and bringing it with you. You have to decide if I'm gonna do something interesting that I wanna share with people and that if the answer is yes, you have to figure out how to lug all this gear around. And yes, this is a pretty small package, but your phone is way smaller and you're bringing it with you regardless. So if you wanna start sharing, if you wanna start vlogging, use your phone. Don't spend a hundred bucks on something like this. Anyways, if you like this type of video, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here. Um, our subscriber count's been growing quite a bit. Um, so. That's been great. These videos have kind of helped keep me, uh, keep my mind off of the reality of the world. And so I appreciate you engaging with me. Leave some comments down below if you've ever used anything like this. Um, I don't really know what to do with this. Uh, I might give it away to, uh, I just don't know who I would give this to that would actually help. But if you have any thoughts of what I should do with this, uh, leave those in the comments down below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.